skincare from CoverGirl. Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 9 a.m. Good morning, everyone. So glad you're with us. Today is Saturday, April 2nd. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 930 and streaming on CBSN Los Angeles. I'm Michelle Medina. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, everybody. I'm Amy Johnson. We want to start off with a look at your weather with meteorologist Marquina Brown, who is in for Alex this morning. Good morning, Marquina. Good morning, Amy. Happy Saturday. Let's get right to it. LAX and lots of other places are starting the day with the low clouds and fog. Uh, it's a pretty deep marine layer as well, even deeper than what we saw yesterday, which tells me some temperatures are really going to struggle to rise as we go throughout the day. LAX again, lots of clouds and 58 degrees. We go to other places and we see the low clouds and fog. Some places are even so in sunshine, like the folks in Palmdale seeing full sunshine and 65 degrees. Winds are not a problem. Stick around. We'll take a look at the full seven day forecast and I'll let you know about this um, extensive heat wave that's on the way that's coming up in just a little bit. Back to you. All right, Marquina, thank you. One person is dead after a car crashed into a house in San Bernardino County. Yeah, the crash actually followed a police chase that started in Colton. It ended at Cedar and Randall Avenues in Rialto, and that's where KCAL 9's Tina Ezzedin is live. Tina. Good morning, and as you mentioned, this did start uh, shortly just after 1 o'clock this morning, and it all began when... Police thought that they were chasing a suspected drunk driver. They noticed this driver on the road and they thought that the driver was drunk because the driver got too close to the police cruiser, nearly hitting the cruiser. In the end, though, what happened is that that car ended up slamming into a house. We're on the corner here live at Randall and Cedar Avenues in Rialto. And as you can see from our live picture here, there is a, a crew here that is uh, in charge of securing buildings. And so the car has now since been removed. It was removed much earlier this morning from the house. But what they're doing now is trying to uh, take down the remaining elements of the house, the roof and some of the structure that has been hanging uh, dangerously low and either uh, taking it away altogether. They have not officially red tagged this house yet, meaning it's uh, uh, uninhabitable. But from the looks of it, it looks like there is going to be some very extensive repairs that will be necessary here. As I mentioned, this started after Colton police noticed a possible drunk driver. The driver almost ran into the police car. Soon after the car nearly hit the police, a pursuit started. Colton police chased that suspected drunk driver along the westbound 10 freeway in Colton. The pursuit then continued through Montana and on to Rialto, where it finally came to a stop when the suspected drunk driver ended up hitting another car altogether, not the police cruiser. And then it slammed right into that home that you saw live in Rialto. 